beacon was laying on the bottom next to it. Oh, oh really? That oh. was spooky. Hmm. Huh. It went down in a flash. Yeah. Huh. Could you see any damage? You couldn't see any hull damage or anything? Uh, no, you could not. Uh, we were able to zoom in inside and kind of look inside the cabin a little bit like, briefly, and there was just a, it looked like a lifeboat or like a dinghy, like an inflatable dinghy that had blown up inside and uh -oh. you know, a whole bunch of stuff, like the cushions and stuff were in there, but oh. uh, you couldn't see anything else. Oh, look at these guys. That's creepy. It's very creepy. Mm. I mean, the, the main sheet was tight. Yeah. It was just sitting there like with the sails and the current. <laughs> wow. Oh, really? yeah. oh. Sorry. Did you guys look up the name of the boat after? Uh, there was some research done. It was reported to the Coast Guard. I know that. That's all I ever heard about it. It's like a little 30 foot boat. Bottle. Sorry, Katie just said it was the Miranda from Heidelberg, Germany. That's right. But Katie, we never heard anything else, right? We don't know anything more about it? We also found a downed helicopter in the Black Sea in 2006. Wow. That's, That's pretty crazy. creepy. Yeah. Looked like it hit the surface pretty hard. Well, that went down real quick. Yeah. Flat. So if you just joined us on NautilusLive.org, we are um, what you're seeing on the screen is a relatively flat bottom, sediment covered. We're in transit right now between two small volcanic cones, 
northwest of the island of Pantelleria in the Straits of Sicily. And we've been exploring the summit of these um, small volcanoes, looking for evidence of sub recent submarine volcanism or hydrothermal activity. And we just got back in the water today after about a two-day hiatus because of bad weather. And it's still a bit windy out there. Winds are about 20 knots, I guess, or so. And we're having a little bit of trouble staying on station, but still trying to get some dive work done. Um, we're heading up towards the third, sorry, the fourth cone that we've explored since we got back in the water. And so far, we haven't found them in any evidence of recent activity in these cones. The next one we're going to is an interesting looking one. It is, um, it's a cone that has a horseshoe shaped crater, which is open to the uh, west. And this shaped crater is indicative of um, what's called sector collapse on submarine edifices. It happens in subaerial volcanoes as well, where the flank of the volcano fails and forms a landslide that moves down slope and then leaves a, an open spot in the crater. And then typically the new growth of the volcano forms a new little peak in the middle and that's what we're seeing on the one that we're going up to. So this is the biggest one that we've explored since we got back in the water. And um, guys like a little speed racer. So stay tuned, we'll probably be up to the slopes in another 20 minutes, half hour or so. We're currently at a water depth of 404 meters. Hey, and, hey Steve, yeah. have you been answering the questions online? Yeah. Good. Oh. Another bottle. Another bottle. My wife, are you going to put costume pictures on the website? I'm waiting for the first trick to use the night. Um, yeah, I think they are going to put some, I hope they were going to put some pictures up on the website. We had a a really fun costume party down the galley, and then we've been wearing our costumes up here and on watch as well. Do you know who's going to put the pictures up, Katrina? You know, anyone started doing that yet, or? Okay. I'm going to see what I can do tomorrow. I know a lot of people took a bunch of pictures, so. Okay. Um, hopefully. Oh, so I have a question from Ben in Atlanta. Ever seen any World War II planes on the bottom? Brennan, you ever seen any, seen one. any planes? Yeah? Yep. What kind? Uh, I don't know exactly what it was, uh, but some images way from way back. and Also in 2006 in the Black Sea, just south of Ukraine. In the uh, Black Sea, yep. Yeah, it was um, I'm trying to remember now. I, I don't know how many seater, maybe, maybe a twin seater or something like that. It wasn't very large. Mm -hmm. um, it looked like it had a blast shell or through the through the wing. Oh, um, really? Yeah, like it was kind of like, oh, that's why I went down. Jen, can you come down quite a bit? Come oh, down yeah. to like 12, 10 meters. Sure. There's something I want to try and check out to my northwest. Yep. I mean, to my uh, so I get a lot of leash here. So Ben is asking about World War II planes. He served in the in the Air, Air Force in the Second World War and flew B-17 bombers. And, um, that's right. Some, I believe, if I'm correct, Ben flew some back from the Western Pacific back to the United States. I'm just trying to get an eyeball on it, so I might stretch you out. Yep. Yeah, what is, Ooh, that? what is that? Oh. Is that? Oh. Oh my God, are you kidding me? What is what? it? Speak of the devil. It's a plane. <gasps> Hold oh, the ship. Oh, ben, gosh. Ben, Ben, are you watching this? Oh my, my gosh. God. I don't wow. believe this. So, yeah, it's a. Katie. Oh. Uh, drop up target here. Wow. What? Oh, this is too spooky. That was that bizarre. I mean, is this Spookiest spooky or is this is spooky? <laughs> ben, are you That's watching so this? Eerie. All right, let's go a little bit um, north. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Or happened. let's let's just see where the ship slides. I cannot believe this happened. I can't. That is no. bizarre. That is absolutely bizarre. It's remarkable. That. Oh my God. <laughs> the Argus view. Oh, oh, you got some captures in Argus? Thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ow. my God. <laughs> that would have been a punch. Of <laughs> ben, did, did, did you have a vision there uh, in Atlanta? Did you yeah. think we were going to find a plane here? 
Anybody know what kind of plane oh, yeah. it is? Let's, 